as we see in the most ritual, we just need two flags. But there are some rituals who require uh, three flags. Uh, for example, the ritual for Erzuli, we will need a flag for Erzuli. So what the um, Aishan thought, and uh, they decided to combine the images of uh, Erzuli together with the image of Nambala in the same flag. So here is a case where we have St. Patrick here and the Virgin Mary here representing Erzuli in the same flag and in that way they can save some money to create a new flag. Uh, next. Now I'm uh, towards the end of my presentation and those are two flags dedicated to President, ex-president Aristide. Uh, Aristide was uh, an ex-Catholic priest who decided to start his own uh, popular movement in, uh, um, in Haiti called La Valas, the cleansing flood, and it was very much uh, supported by the majority of Haitians, which are poor and, uh, and peasants. And all sorts of artists decided to uh, help the movement and support Aristide by creating flags. And interesting enough, we can see here actually is a photo of Aristide, very much like a chromolithograph of a saint included in the flag. Now, what happened is that eight months after the election of Aristide as president of Haiti, there was a military coup. And uh, uh, Aristide managed to, thanks to the intervention of the United States and also other members of the Association of American States, managed to escape and go into exile. Now this event has been, uh, um, been used by an artist in order to create a very large flag, um, also his masterpiece. Next. Next. This is it. Now this is a very uh, big flag and it represents exactly this moment. In the center we have the cock. The cock is a symbol of Papa Loco, which is uh, uh, the god of uh, every priest and every temple, but as we've seen, is also the symbol that represents uh, the party of Aristide and the symbol of democracy, in a way. And uh, Papa Loco is being attacked. So on one side we have the Vevet of the interpretation of the Vevet of Dambala, and also a bull. Now the bull is a symbol of Bosu, which is uh, the god of uh, strength and agriculture, but is also a bull is the best possible uh, animal to be sacrificed. And here we see that is being decapitated. There's a the head is separate by the, from the body, and there is a burning candle on top of it representing this ritual. Also on this side we have a tire. Now, a tie it represents neck lacing. Neck lacing is a, a form of protest that the peasant had against the Toton Makut. Now, the Toton Makut is, it was the private army of the dictator uh, Duvalier. Now, to fight against the Toton Makut, the peasant decided to take some tie, place them on uh, top of a person, and set it aflame to burn them uh, in this way. Now, by including this tie, we, uh, the artist didn't want to support this practice, obviously, but it represents uh, the peasant, the poor people in the flag. And as we can see, the, uh, well, there are all the flags of the different countries who came to help Haiti, and we see those black hands who represent the military who tried to take over uh, the, the, the country. And those hands have been stopped, apart from the, uh, the countries, by gold hands. Now, those gold hands represent the magical help, the magical intervention. So this one is um, finding a machete and is cutting one hand in two, and this one is grabbing the other hand. And I would like to finish by showing you the faces of the hero of this story. Those are all um, photograph of all different artists who have been created, uh, some of them are dead, uh, who have been created flags in the last 40 years. Thank you very much.